So what is Netflix and Kill? I hear you wonder. Basically, I am sick and tired of horror movies on Netflix barely even being able to get three stars as their rating. So in, in the interest of you guys, and for science, I am going to be watching some of the lower rated movies on Netflix and telling you whether I think they actually deserve those low ratings. It's going to be like a come watch with me because I'm going to be filming myself watching it, reacting, and then I'll do like a little mini review at the end. Okay, so here we are on the horror Netflix page and I'm going to be randomly pressing the arrow keys on my remote and whatever we end up on, that's what I'm going to watch. So let's go. And I promise I am not looking while I'm doing this and we're going to stop. Would you rather? Okay. We're going to watch Would You Rather. Desperate people tricked into playing a diabolical game must make a choice. The horrible versus the unthinkable. Well, this definitely sounds very interesting. So let's put it on and give it a watch. I'm liking the look of these tiles. They're pretty cool. Sasha Gray is in this. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's a porn star. Oh look, she's so caring. Iris, please have a seat. Deborah. He's the creepy guy in this whole thing. So, He's the bad guy, you can tell. The evening will culminate with a game of sorts. Oh my winner. goodness. Who would go to this creepy guy's house? Lady in the wheelchair is Linda. She barely speaks. All these characters are just so cliche. Shit's about to get real. You're gonna make us kiss each other? <laughs> She's loving it. Oh, oh, nothing like that, my dear. No, that was just off the top of my head. Now, She's like, oh man. <laughs> you were warned. You got to hell, you sick motherfucker! <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> take one for the team, Linda. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to take one for the team, Linda. <laughs> Sorry. Well, she's not very good at hiding. And he is the worst MI5 agent ever. He's not even got his bloody gun out. What's he thinking? <laughs> oh, so gross. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Iris. But we're not through playing. He's very polite, very British. Where's Julian? I'm terribly sorry, but he's been stabbed. Mm. A bloody stump. Oh. What do we have? Oh no, no! Oh. What is it? The picture on Netflix was a guy cutting into his own eye. I will give you thirty seconds to do this. <laughs> I can't do. I can't do it. Thirty seconds. I can't. He's do gonna it. do it. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. 20 seconds. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's funny. 10 seconds. <laughs> this, Lucas, he will eliminate you. I am telling you. Five, four, three. Oh, two, yeah, yeah. One. Oh, it doesn't even show it. What a cop out. Oh. You're not the gambler. That's pissed me off. No, 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 no. So does Would You Rather deserve its two and a little teeny bit star rating? Yes, it does. The story kind of drags in places because each character has to do the same Would You Rather scenario. It kind of, it seems a bit repetitive at points. And even when the character has made a decision, 
I don't really care because I don't really know these characters that well apart from the main girl Iris. You can tell they've kind of just categorised them as different stereotypes. You've got the army vet, the goth, the ex-alcoholic, the doctor, the kind old lady. And it is fun to play along with these characters and answer the questions for yourself as you're going along, but that still doesn't make it an entertaining watch. And I wasn't shocked or excited by any of the decisions that the characters made, as they were all quite predictable. And this film doesn't even show most of the good parts. There's no like horrible gore in this, it cuts away. So I don't even think you could call this a torture porn movie. I think the cover photo on Netflix is very misleading because I was expecting to see something gross with an eye, but no, nothing, just cutaways. Cutaways after cutaway. <laughs> this movie is also full of plot holes, full of it. How are these people getting away with hosting this dinner party every year? How has no one blabbed? Like surely someone would have mentioned to their friends, oh, by the way, I'm going to this really creepy like dinner party. The guy seemed really weird, but I'm gonna go anyway because I need the money. And what happened to the son who got stabbed after he tried to get a little bit handsy with Iris? And why didn't Iris go to the hospital for her stab wound? I completely forgot she was stabbed. Not only was the plot and maybe a little bit wishy-washy, but the ending was totally predictable. I called it, maybe like not until later, but it was still very predictable. The character of Iris, she's built up too much to be this good character. And I just knew they were gonna go for the shock factor to be like, oh, she's not good, not anymore. <laughs> Actually, I think the Netflix rating is a little bit generous. I would give this two stars at the most, maybe one and three quarters, maybe. This movie would be good to watch if you enjoyed the later Saw sequels and Hostel 2 and 3, but if you're looking for something that's exciting and new, then I definitely would not recommend this at all. So that was our first Netflix and Kill. Hopefully it will not be the last. So hopefully we will see you next time. Bye!